Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online for Mac. Following on from last week, I'm going to take a look at the brand new Photos app from Apple. This week, I'll be taking a look at actually using the application, including understanding the various views, displaying metadata, as well as an in-depth look at the editing tools within Photos. So following on from last week, this is my system photo library that's synchronizing with iCloud. And there's about 470 uh, photos and I think about 60 videos in here as well. So I'm going to take a look at the views first because uh, there are some ways that photos will automatically organize your photos for you. And uh, sometimes it does take a little bit of uh, getting your head around how the different views are organized. Now I did switch on the sidebar last week, uh, which you can see over here, but I'm actually going to take that off for now because we do actually get a different presentation with that sidebar gone. You'll see across the top we've got photos, shared, albums and projects. If I switch that back on, uh, they disappear at the top and we can now get to them from the sidebar. So let's go without the sidebar first. Now at the very top level, and I can tell them at the top level, this arrow here in the toolbar is greyed out. I can't go back any further. We have a year view. And at the header of each year, so two years, 2014 and 2015, we have locations of any geolocated photos that are contained within the different years. If I want to see the map, I can just tap on the geolocation. So this is Munich. I can sort of uh, zoom in and out using a pinch gesture. I can also zoom in or zoom out using the arrows at the bottom. Uh, if I want to, I can just drag the map around. I can go into satellite view. I can actually zoom in as well if I zoom right in. Uh, now there is a 3D option, but unfortunately Munich isn't in 3D, but just to give you an idea of uh, one of the things you can do, if I zoom right in, okay, so this photo here, I was standing at this part of the road looking at uh, a structure with these two columns. You can actually see the church or the cathedral over here with the two columns on the map. As I say, no 3D view, unfortunately, in Munich, but uh, you can have a, a good play with that. Let's just go back out a level. And the next view is the collection view. So if I tap into one of these photos, so this takes me into various collections. Again, organized either by the geotagging, the location, or by, if you have no geotags on your photos by the date. Again, I can go in and have a look at a map. I can come back out again. Some additional controls in that I can actually play a slideshow. Uh, I won't do that now. We'll look at slideshows in a bit more detail later. And I can add the entire collection to an album, smart album, book, calendar, card, slideshow, or prints. Now there is a slight bug in that this does say add this moment to, but it is in fact a collection, so a slight bug in the application. If I hover over another uh, collection, you'll see we get the same buttons down here. So again, play a slideshow or add the collection to an album, slideshow or print project. Now the next view is the moment view. So if I just tap on one of the photos, that takes me into what's called a moment view. And these are just organized by date. So you can see here 13th of November, 14th of November, etc. Uh, you might notice as well that we have these little boxes, these little toolboxes on some of the images. This just means that these have been edited. So as, as I hover over, you'll see it actually popped up with the, uh, the, the word edited. Uh, we can actually add some additional symbols. I'll show you metadata after we've had a look at the views, but you can add additional metadata in and get some additional symbols, such as keywords appearing on the photos in this view. Now, one extra control in the moment view is to make the size of the thumbnails larger. So you have a slider up here. You actually use a slider to drag or you can use command and plus and command and minus will reduce it back. To get the full version of this tutorial completely for free, as well as immediate access to over 500 other Apple related tutorials, all you need to do is visit seofree.com to register for your 14 day, no obligation, free trial screencasts online membership. So that's seofree.com to register for your 14-day free trial membership. <laughs>